two masses, M and M, are connected by an inextensible string which pass over a frictionless pulley. M rests on a frictionless slope. So we don't care about friction here. No, no extra forces. The slope is at an angle to horizontal. Two masses are initially held stationary and then you let go and they start to move. Mass M accelerates down the slope. Which expression must be correct? If this mass M is accelerating down the slope, means there must be some kind of imbalance force. Some force pulling this mass M down, probably weight, related to weight, we call this the component of weight. Let's call this Wx. This weight is going to be stronger than the tension force trying to pull this mass up. So we are just looking at this mass here only. Uh. If that mass accelerate means the tension is not strong enough, so the weight is going to pull the whole thing down. So there are a few methods to do this. I will show one method here. So from this statement where you have acceleration, it means that whatever component of weight, heavy ma, heavy, is slide down the slope is bigger than the tension force that holds up this big block M. That's why I say Wx greater than T. But we need an equation. How come got sine and cosine? Oh. oh, oh, I think I know already. This block, we need to do some resolution of forces. This block is actually quite heavy. Let me draw this down. This is the component of weight downwards. Mg, uh, W equals Mg. But we want to resolve to a tilted thing. So we have to draw the horizontal. Let's move it down here. And the so-called vertical. And these have to be right angle to each other. So I'm kind of tilting my axis, uh, by the way. My x is like this. My y is like this. The whole axis tilted. Really tilted this way. Ah, yes, tilted this way. And they are both right angle to each other. How about the angle, though? Theta is down there. So when I transfer to here, the theta is actually up here. Yeah, my theta is so cha cha. Okay, never mind. You, you know the theta is up here. So if you want to find what is Wx, we have to put together our brains and say, okay, Wx is going to be opposite hypotenuse. Sine. W sine theta. That's the horizontal component of Wx. We're going to stop that in the equation. So here is W sine theta greater than... Okay, why is T? By the way, uh, W, uh, we're going to change this to Mg, uh, okay? Weight is Mg, so big M times G. Now right here, uh, this one is big M, heavy or uh, G times sine theta. T, tension. Who give the tension in the first place? If you think about the tension, the string is connected, right? From here, connect, 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 all the way to this other thing. So because we have something hanging on the other side, that's why we have tension. On the other side, this block also heavy. Wall. This block is mg, which also contributes to the tension here in this entire string. So we can say, okay, we connect the string over. Why is it? What's the tension? Tension is going to be related to mg. So we can put here small m the small mass on the other side, times g. Now we simplify. g and g cancel out. Uh, what, what next? Ah? You look at the answer, they all put the sine, cosine, sine, cosine. So we separate the sine, cosine. So sine theta greater than small m divided by big M. Mm, okay, this is our answer. So that will be the best choice here, will be sine, theta, okay, sine, sine, greater than so this one is the best choice. C. Top skills you must learn how to do when you're seeing inclined plane is how to resolve weight into its components. So I just highlight the triangle there. Make sure you know how to do that one. If not, uh, it's good to revise a bit. How do you deal with inclined plane? Slope. And you'll be okay. Alright, so that's all for this question about slopes.